The midpoint formula allows us to find the midpoint of any straight line so long as we know both of the endpoints. In this example, we have the point negative 3, negative 1 joined by a straight line to the point 5, 2. We want to know what are the x and y coordinates of the midpoint, and we will use this formula to find it. The formula says x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. We have to know which is our x1 and which is our x2, and that can be determined by figuring out which is our starting point. Since we're starting here in this example, our x1 is negative 3. And therefore, our x2 is 5. Our y1 will be negative 1, and our y2 will be 2. This simplifies to give us 2 over 2, 1 over 2, and 2 over 2 is equal to 1, so our final answer is 1 comma 1 half are the x and y coordinates of the midpoint of this line. But what happens if instead of calling this point 1 and naming x1 and y1 as negative 3 and negative 1, what if we start at the other end? Well, let's try it and find out. If x1 is 5, we get 5, and x2 will be the negative 3. If y1 is 2, we put the 2 here, and y2 will be the negative 1. Simplifying, we end up with 2 over 2 and 1 over 2. We get the same answer. 1 comma 1 half are the coordinates of the midpoint. Therefore, we know when we're using the midpoint formula, because the distance from the start to the midpoint is the same as the distance from the end to the midpoint, it doesn't matter which of these two points you call the start and which one you call the end. You can do the formula either way and you will get the same answer.